Hey folks, Mr Mitchell here, how's it going? In this video we're going to kick off the properties of matter topic by looking at the difference between heat and temperature. So let's get started. The terms heat and temperature are often used in everyday life to mean the same thing. However, heat and temperature are not the same. We say in general terms that heat is a form of energy measured in joules. But, to be more specific with a physics definition, we say that heat is a measure of the total kinetic energy of the particles in an object. Whereas temperature in general terms gives an indication of how hot or cold an object is, measured in degrees Celsius or Kelvin. And the specific definition for temperature is that it's a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in an object. So notice the difference here between total kinetic energy for heat and the average kinetic energy for temperature. And just to help you understand the difference between these two concepts, let's consider this example here. So imagine you have lots of ice cream in a bowl and hot fudge sauce in a separate glass as shown below here. So here's our large bowl of ice cream and you'll notice there's lots of ice cream there and then we've got the hot fudge sauce in the glass here. Let's say you measure the temperature of the ice cream to be minus 6.9 degrees Celsius and the temperature of the hot fudge sauce to be 56.9 degrees Celsius using a temperature probe. So we can say that the hot fudge sauce clearly has a greater temperature than the ice cream, meaning that the average kinetic energy of all of the particles in the hot fudge sauce is greater, just taking that from our new definition of temperature. But which one has the greatest heat energy? Well, you might think that because the hot fudge sauce has a higher temperature than the ice cream, or because it has the word hot in the name, that it also has the greatest heat energy. However, this is not the case. So since the ice cream has a larger mass than the hot fudge sauce, it has many more particles which are all moving slower than the ones in the hot fudge sauce due to the smaller temperature. So we can see that because there's lots of ice cream here that it will have a high mass, whereas the equivalent mass of the hot fudge sauce will be smaller. Remember though that heat energy is a measure of the total kinetic energy of the particles in an object, so because the ice cream has many more particles, in this case the total kinetic energy of all of the particles in the ice cream is actually greater than that in the hot fudge sauce. Therefore the ice cream has a greater heat energy than the hot fudge sauce, which might not seem obvious to begin with. So we've seen here that the average kinetic energy of all of the particles in the hot fudge sauce is greater than that in the ice cream, and therefore the hot fudge sauce has a greater temperature. However, we've also seen that the total kinetic energy of all of the particles in the ice cream is greater than that in the hot fudge sauce, so therefore the ice cream has more heat energy. So it's important for you to remember that temperature is the average kinetic energy of all of the particles in an object, whereas heat is the total kinetic energy of all the particles in an object. And therefore, heat and temperature are different things. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.